Now that we have the intervention done, there's only one more new weapon left in Season 3, and that is the somewhat forgotten Cronin Squall. And we'll be getting that Orion today. And after what seems like forever of grinding out some Battle Pass tokens, I finally have enough to unlock it. So let me do that really quick. We'll take this. What is this? A charm? We'll take the weapon XP. We'll take this charm. We'll get whatever this is. And now we finally have the Cronin Squall. I tell you, it took me hours to get these Battle Pass tokens. I don't know what they did with the rates on these, but it is slow. And I say somewhat forgotten because, come on, what weapon's gonna outshine the intervention? But here we have the Cronin Squall. I have absolutely no levels on it. But let's go ahead and see what the camos are on this weapon and how we can unlock them. So our first challenge here is pretty standard. We just need to get 50 kills with it and we'll get the Vapor Storm camo. This camo is obviously very mid, probably less than mid, but uh, that's what you can expect with one of these first camos. What is not mid though, is the ghastly green we're getting another solid color camo here and it kind of looks like mint chocolate chip almost i don't know if that's just a secondary color here on the cronin squall but that's the ghastly green as a full primary is actually a pretty decent camo and to get it we need to get 15 double kills with it then we also have the stone wrench camo here where we need to get 20 kills from behind to unlock it and that's what i kind of like it's different it, it's not really like a woodland type camo or a digital type camo it's kind of abstract and i like it it gives me like the vintage cold war zombies camos feel if that makes any sense i'm jumbling on my words but y'all y'all play cold war zombies you know what i'm talking about and then we have the intergalactic camo which we can unlock by getting 40 mounted kills with it gross not the camo the challenge this camo is actually pretty cool i like it it's kind of uh, a trippy take on the topo pattern and then once we get all those done, we need to get three kills without dying 10 times. We need to get our 25 long shots. We need to get our 25 headshots. And then we can get Orion and Polyatomic and all that good stuff. Now let's go ahead, hop in and start knocking out some camos for this. All right, I queued 10v10 here because it's basically the best playlist while we don't have any uh, nice 24-7 maps out. And let's see how this thing does. No attachments. Let's see if we can find somebody to take out with it. Oh, wait, is this full auto? Is this a full auto battle rifle? It comes in full auto? You don't switch to it? That's kind of wild. What does it do against this guy? But not a whole lot if I can't hit my shots. What about right here? Eh, I don't know if that's a fair assessment of the weapon. Oh, there we go. That was pretty decent. How much ammo does this have in the mag? 20 bullets? Yeah, that's about right for a battle rifle. Battle rifles are like diet ARs. But there's been some drama here in the COD community in the last day. Uh, I saw a lot of people freaking out on Twitter saying like content creators, specifically like Joe Woe and, you know, Charlie Intel and Modern Warzone really update or overhyped this update. And they're purposely lying to their audience to generate hype for this update. And I really don't get that take. I, I saw them getting like death threats and things like that over a game, which is absolutely wild. Uh, like the COD community shows time and time again, how it has a really ugly side with some of the most toxic people out there in gaming. And I, I really just don't get it. Like it it's a game. It's an update. We already knew this game. Like we're, th we're three seasons into it by now. We knew it was going to hit our our expectations and yeah like we, our hopes can get up every once in a while but at, at this point we gotta know that we're not really gonna get kind of what we're striving for out of this i feel like cod's pretty set in their ways it's not gonna change a whole lot on it from my understanding of the situation uh, a few creators got on a call with devs and they were they promised certain things or they talked about certain things like they were gonna be in the next update and then the update rolls around and the patch notes come out and everything and it turns out it's not i don't see how that's on the the creator's shoulders especially like the the news sources like charlie intel and modern warzone because they literally just take the information that's given to them and then put it out there they have no reason to sit there and make up lies about the game because then it just does not make them look credible and i don't really see why they would in the first place to be real uh they had like a twitter space today that went on for like three hours uh, i sat through like damn near all of it of them talking about the whole situation and how these like creator calls and everything work and just how ugly things got yesterday between you know cod players cod fans and some of the people that either deliver information or you know put out content there like i understand the frustration i get it but it's definitely being directed in the wrong places i don't even know where you would direct it because it's not like a, a specific dev can sit there and stand up to like the publisher and be like, look, we don't like this change. Th this isn't happening. We can't do this. Cause I'm sure there are devs working on the game that truly love COD and they want to do the best for it, but they're only allowed to do certain things here and there. And it's not like one person can change it. And it's not like all the devs can come together and change it either. Cause during that Twitter space, they're talking about a few things that I haven't really taken into account. 
Like they're saying how uh, Activision is a publicly traded company. Uh, Activision Blizzard is. So they have like shareholders that they have to appease. They have to hit like certain marks uh, in terms of like revenue. And even if devs wanted to do certain things, the the powers at B, like the people that run the whole publishing company are going to be like, look, uh, we hear you, but we're going to go in a completely different direction. Or they won't even say it like nicely like that. They're just like, listen, we need money. We need to keep making money. Now, I'm not saying any of this to defend COD, but I am saying it to kind of defend the developers and the content creators and just people in this community that try to help push the game forward. Like we're all people. It's crazy that we even need to you know, make a distinction because people just hop online and they see red and they just want to un like unleash all this anger on wh whoever, whatever, just because the game they like isn't up to the standards that they want. Like I shouldn't have to hop on here and be like, I am not J money. I am. That is just a name I go by in the internet. I'm Joe. Like I'm a person. Shit like that shouldn't be said in a lot of this community really needs to grow up and mature. And this is going to just be a whole lot of ranting while I'm leveling this thing up because there ain't a whole lot to do until I can get these camos. But I really don't like the narrative that if somebody uh, sticks their their head out and says something against the game that they're just like a hater ass bitch or they have to be negative to like appease the the angst in the fan base or if somebody says anything to defend like what's going on or just says something positive about the game there are some like activision cod cock and ball sucking shill who is getting thrown money on the side just to say positive things about it like i personally have zero affiliation with call of duty i'm just a dude that hops on here and plays the game i've never been given any promotional material i've never been paid to play the game i've gotten nothing from call of duty they don't even know i exist and if they did i don't know if they'd want me associated with their game with some of the shit i say in these videos but with that being said i think criticism for the game can be made in a, a more constructive way besides just saying like fix the game like go fuck yourself i hate you uh, i'm gonna fucking do xyz to your family like it's just completely absurd i guess i'm just a little upset because like i i love this game i don't like the state that it's in but I, i'll still hop on here and i'll play cod i have two accounts that i play on it's not like i'm forcing myself to hop on here and play it sometimes it, it's a struggle to find out something to do for a video here and there it's not like i don't enjoy myself during it you know besides long shots those can go like i still like the the cycle cod has not like the the cod cycle where it's like i love this game i hate this game but the, the cycle of hopping in kind of like mindlessly playing while working towards you know certain goals is a lot of fun for me but something i want to put out there is like if you don't like the game you don't like the state of the game you don't like playing it you don't have to you don't have to force yourself to hop on here and play it there's plenty of other games out there and you can just hop on those we don't have to just sit here and be hyper focused on every single little thing cod does no, it's not the best Call of Duty. It might be the best selling, but it's not the best Call of Duty out there. No, this ain't the best they can do with the game. And no, they're not listening to community feedback. But there's games out there that are. And there's those you can go play those games. And uh, this isn't directed at anybody specifically in this community. Like, the community that watches my videos. But just some of the behavior I've seen from the, the COD community as a whole in the last day has been kind of troubling. But speaking of other games out there, I've seen a lot of chatter about X Defiant. Uh, it's a game made by, I think, one of the former, like, devs of Call of Duty. I, I'm not sure what exact game or his name or anything. Uh, I, I've, I've seen bits and pieces of it, like, on Twitter, and they were talking a little bit there on that Twitter space. But they're trying to make a COD-type game that's all about the, all the feedback they've been giving, like, a Call of Duty for the last few years. And let me make this clear, I'm not being paid by X Defiant. This isn't like a sponsor or anything. This is just something I've seen floating around that it seems interesting to me. And probably to you guys, since obviously you're interested in COD if you're watching this video. And if you're not happy with how Modern Warfare 2 is right now, X Defiant could be the thing for you. Uh, it, it really seems like I'm, I'm throwing out an ad read here, but I promise you, I'm getting nothing for this. But I think I might play it. Uh, it's currently in closed beta. I, I think it's on... It might be on all platforms, but it, it's on PC. Uh, I'm waiting to see if I can get a beta code. I don't know if I'll be able to, but from what I've heard, they got like red dots actually on the mini map. I, I'm pretty sure it's got like map voting. It has 
I think around like 12 or something maps. I don't know if any of them are good. I, I Like I said, I haven't played the game yet. But from everything I've seen, the movement looks fast. The gameplay looks fast. I think there's not even proning in it. So there's no drop shotting. And honestly, I'm fine with that. And overall, it looks fun. And I think COD could have really used like a, a decent competitor. That's uh, a similar style of play. As you can say, Battlefield's a competitor to COD. And, you know, in the FPS genre, it definitely is. But when it comes to just like multiplayer fighting like this, uh, I feel like Battlefield just scratches a different itch and COD scratches its own itch as well. I don't know if that makes any sense, but they feel like way different games. Like I'm into COD, but I, I don't think I could play Battlefield too much. And I had like a similar experience with a game that actually got me back into COD. There's a time when COD ports on PC weren't very good. And I, I switched to PC. I played Xbox for a long time growing up. And then I got my first computer and I started you know, you're migrating and playing all my games over there. And I, I w already wasn't too big into COD. Like I play it casually here and there, but I wasn't playing it like I am now, like grinding camos on it and putting like hundreds of hours into the game every year. And every time a COD would come out in PC, it would be like really lazily ported over because there wasn't that big of a PC audience for it, at least not yet. And the ports for COD didn't really get good until Black Ops 4 and I wasn't really too into that game. But what I was playing before then was a game called Iron Sight. It was like a, a free to play COD clone type game that had like futuristic aspects to it, but it didn't really have like wall running or any of that. It was still like foot on the ground, but a lot of the weapons and kill streaks were, were futuristic. And I say this all because I think COD clones can be good for COD. Because throwing in some competition into this genre of shooter can just only help COD, I think. Like if they start adding in features that the devs or not the devs specifically, but like the publishers go like, oh, that's that game's doing well and that's making money. Let's emulate that. Like we saw that with Fortnite and them bringing in like Blackout and the whole battle pass system being taken from Fortnite. I, I, I'm saying this because Fortnite was such a big player in the industry and influenced a lot of games with their their intuitiveness. And with Battlefield 2040, whatever, kind of flopping at launch and Halo Infinite not really adding in any content for the first two years of their game, COD really hasn't had any competition to, you know, kick them in the ass and motivate them to do better. Especially with Modern Warfare 2 being the best selling COD of all time, Infinity War can just kind of just sit there with, kick their feet back and be like, yeah, we're doing it right. We don't got to change nothing here. We're making all this money off bundles all this money off the game launch like why change anything and i've seen people throw around like why don't we just boycott the game why don't we all just stop playing it or we just don't buy the next cod i don't really feel like that'll work to be honest but for every person like on twitter and just you know in the cod community like speaking out against like the current state of the game and how they're not a big fan of it there's probably a hundred other people pl just playing COD and they don't keep up with any of this. They don't watch content on it. They don't see any of the updates. They don't see any, you know, notifications or tweets from the developers. Like they just buy the game because they like Call of Duty, like regardless of how it is. And for every person that boycotts the game, there's probably a, a bunch of others that have no idea there's been a boycott going on. And then there was the point of like, maybe then creators shouldn't go to these events and, you know, interact with Call of Duty in these ways to really show them that we don't like how the game's going. And then they said, there's going to be another creator step right up and take that spot for like each person that goes and boycotts. They got five other people like next in line on the list that they can invite instead. But I don't got all the answers. I, I don't know how to fix how COD is. I'm not a game dev. I don't work in game development. I, I'm just a dude that plays this game and likes it and wishes it was better. And we kind of had a similar discussion to this like earlier in the year. I think it was like February, January, something like that, where I said like this game's not in a good spot and I want to start posting like other types of content on the channel. And I kind of strayed away from that a bit. Uh, it's kind of scary to to branch out like that on YouTube. The, the algorithm is extremely aggressive in how your stuff gets pushed. And now that I'm I'm here in my new house, like I, I'm extremely grateful that I'm here, but like with a mortgage on my head, making moves like that could, could like ruin me. But I think once I do get my hands on a, a beta code for X Defiant, we'll try it out. We'll, we'll give it a test. We'll see what's going on over there. You know, spread, spread my wings a bit into some other games. Because outside of, you know, playing COD, uh, I've been playing like Resident Evil over on Twitch. I have it in a little bit since I've been moving, but, but we'll probably get back to that. Uh, I've been thinking about playing Fortnite 
Just because it's stupid. Like just killing somebody, doing like a dumbass emo, and just goofing around with with my friends seems like a good time. Like there, there's plenty of other games out there that I want to dip my toes into. I, I don't want to tank the channel in the process of it. But I'm curious to see what, like what other games you guys are playing out there. Like it, I know some of you don't just play solely COD. Like there's got to be some other fun games out there that ha have some good intersection with the COD community. And I, I'm I'm down to hear your suggestions if y'all want to see me play some different stuff. But that's my, my two cents on the whole situation and what we can do going forward. I, I'll, I'll stop blabbering because I'm sure it was very incoherent. <laughs> but so far, a little review of this weapon. It's all right. It's not bad. The 20 bolts is a little bit of a downer. It seems like maybe after a kill or two, yeah, I'm out of ammo. Maybe I'll knock some larger mags down the line, but it doesn't take too many bolts to kill. I, I just kind of have like a, a, a heavy trigger finger and I let a little too many rounds out that I need to, but it's hard not to when a weapon's automatic, at least for me. I just want to toss out as many bullets as possible until somebody's dead. Just mag dump them like Tony Soprano. Oh, and then we got our Vapor Storm camo. There's our 50th kill. I gotta try to remember what the camo challenges were. I, I have like the worst camo dementia there is. We'll sit there and we'll read all the camo challenges and go over them and I will forget them in an instant. I, we only have one double kill. We need to start stepping this up. Give us a smaller map for 10v10 and we got it down. Oh, they just want to feed me doubles. I almost let it go away, too. Ooh. Oh, we're still going. And now we're not. But that was a gift to get to right there. I should have definitely been dead. It's actually taking a bit longer than I thought it would. I, I was just ranting for a little too long. Let's go ahead and just crank the rest of these camos out. Oh, there's a double kill camo. Finally. Don't you dare come back from being AFK. Thank you. Oh, and that's our kills from behind camo. What a kind lad. Oh, there we go. And amount of kills are done. Now we can start working on gold. I forget how long it takes to get done without getting it leveled up first. I, I would have streamed getting this leveled up, but I was listening to that whole Twitter space thing. Oh, I keep dying on two. The camo curse is hitting extra hard today. Finally, there's three Gs. I just have to get a triple kill for it. Oh, there's gold, baby. That was an insane sequence of events. I was so focused. I was out in the water fishing for melee kills. But now we need to do the long shots. I keep looking over here thinking the camera's there. It's not anymore. My instinct's gone. Oh, don't you melee me back, bitch. The time to lock in and do the most boring fucking challenge in this game. Ooh. I am just destroying these long shots right now. This is like the best long shot streak I've been on in a minute. I think we actually might be close to the camo. How are we not done? Oh, there it is. That's how. Wait, all base can- Oh, no. Okay, it is long shots. Perfect. Now we just need to go for headshots, so I'm leaving. We're just one camo away from getting this thing done. Why is everybody jumping right as I'm going for headshots? I know it's probably meta to not, you know, get bullets through your skull, but when I need camo progress, that's just unacceptable. There we go. Somebody actually jumped into it. You know what? Keep jumping if it's going to go like that. Wait a minute. Are headshots bugged? Because I for sure got headshots with this. I'm thinking this might be like the double kills and maybe it's just a visual bug. So I'm going to try to tough it out and see if we actually get the unlock. That's definitely one. So we got even more proof that we're actually getting headshots. And another. Well, let's skip until uh, I feel like I'm done with this. Oh, come on. With the amount of headshots I'm getting, please, bro. If I don't got it by the end of this game, I'm calling it. The camo's busted. There's absolutely no way I haven't gotten the 25 headshots. I'm hoping maybe I'm delusional and my dumbass can't count. And I'm at like 24. And my next one, the camo's just going to pop up. I mean, everything will be good. It doesn't look like it. I still have a very slight touch of optimism that this is just going to work, but it's fading by the second. All right, that's game. Uh, I'm going to check one more time in our camo menu, and if we don't have it, it's chalked. This gun's broken. 
Well, at least the camos for it are. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, that's fucked up. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to end it here since it's impossible to get Orion on it. Uh, if they end up fixing it, I'll come back and get it. But I'm pretty sure I played enough games for even my dumb ass to get that many headshots and I still don't have it. Maybe if I'm feeling frisky, I'll go back through and count all my headshots just to make sure that I actually hit 25. But I'm pretty sure this gun is busted. But thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will uh, see you in the next one. Later.